Hello, my name is Ed Voss and this is the second of the Walker Studio Challenge videos and it will be my last. I think the, the video challenge might have actually finished by now but I felt that I should do at least one more seeing it as I've completely failed uh, after the first one to upload any. Uh, basically as I mentioned I moved house and then things happened um, that I can't talk about and life just got generally busy and so a combination of that and just kind of living in a series of boxes while trying to get unmoved has meant that I haven't ma managed to get one of these out um, but hopefully in the future I might even be able to do these a bit more regularly anyway uh, today I'd like to mention a couple of theories that I have and uh, they are Number one, you may have seen yesterday, and I actually was meaning to say this way before the announcement, but Amazon with their uh, Kindle tablet that's just been released, and just the Kindle range in general, they've shown that they are moving in to the home electronics or even mobile electronics arena. What if they carry on? What if, uh, say, they release a, an Amazon television? I know there's uh, theories that Apple might release a, a television, an Apple TV, which isn't just the box that they have now, but the whole uh, screen and everything as a TV. So what's the top Amazon competing there as well? And uh, what about, say, a, a computer? More than just the tablet, uh, a whole... Uh, there's theories that desktops are going away, but what's to stop them taking over that market? It seems that nobody else can compete against Apple in that. And other devices. What if Apple basically start not apple there it's getting into your mind already amazon starts selling more of their own products and uh starts putting that front and center in their website as they have done with the kindle and they use the leverage that they've gained through becoming so popular with other people's products and starts selling their own instead just a theory for you what would happen it's more of a question than a theory but the theory being could they do that? The second is about Facebook. And uh, there's all these things about um, Facebook and privacy, etc. But today, and for a little while, I've been wondering, what if they go into the education market? Could you imagine that? Because they came from the education sector. They started off in a university. What if they return there? What if... Facebook starts offering university level courses or college level courses or even just uh, GCSE or um, younger courses just to that would mean that they'd have kids on their site for education purposes as well as recreational purposes they'd increase the amount of time that people could, would spend on their site while also being able to claim a uh, an educational good for them. I don't know whether they charge for that or not, probably not. If you look at sites like the Khan Academy or um, Mahalo.com, you see they're offering education online. What's to stop Facebook doing that? They could quite easily, I would have thought, churn out course after course after course and become known in the education sector as well. So there's a couple of theories for you. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of my strange theories, etc., uh, you might want to take a look at my Twitter feed at twitter.com slash edaross. Follow me there. Or check out check out my website at edross.co.uk where you'll find links to other places where you can find me online. Thanks for watching. Bye.